Okay, RVers and future RVers, I have a motorhome that we're gonna cover today that I'm gonna ask you to watch the whole video. It's quality meets luxury. The 2024 Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS has got a nice amount of features and quality and space and luxury that you have to see every little nook and cranny. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go take a peek. Outside the, the 2024 Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS, it's quality meets luxury. It all starts with the chassis, the Mercedes-Benz chassis. It is a diesel platform that just gives us that power, that torque to be able to go anywhere and everywhere that we want, but that luxury of comfort. When we're sitting in the driver's seat, we'll uh, take a peek later on at the cab area, you're just going to drive with a lot of comfort. And on the outside, it's styled with a lot of nice um, accents. For example, your aluminum Alcoa wheels that will just stay a nice shine and protection against all those weather elements. Moving on, the paint. The outside is nice and quality. Back in my sales days, I remember our Pleasure Way representative always said, Mike, it takes six weeks to build this. They take their time in measuring and producing this motorhome. It is not a production line quality motorhome. So again, we gotta stay, stay with me through the whole video. Some of the features that really caught my eye on the outside was this nice big automatic uh, powered awning that extends out, gives me some lights out uh, to the side or to the outside to give me some good illumination on my patio side. We've got a couple storage compartments that when I opened them up, I just immediately felt the weight. What is that weight? That is insulation, that is durability. So when I've got this motorhome traveling through a lot of uh, bad weather, uh, bad climates, kicking up all that uh, um, yeah, road debris and water, my stuff, my camping gear inside is staying nice and dry and clean. And it even went as far as putting in a removable washable mat. So that way if I do have some dirty items like some wheel chocks or, or leveling blocks, I can throw them in and when I get home, I can take the time and clean out my storage compartment. Of course, on the outside, we have some electric, so that way I can uh, fire up my electric griddle or throw out some, um, uh, some tunes with my, with my speaker. Up behind in the back of the coach, this is where we get that big storage to throw some of those uh, bulky items, if we will. And again, the storage doors are just solid, so that quality uh, meets that luxury. It might look good, but it's also a great quality functionality to it. Circling around to the back, we have a pretty stout hitch that we can get into some uh, dinghy towing or maybe towing a trailer with something on it. And of course the wiring's all set up. We have our backup camera that it gives me that visibility and that safety and the confidence when I'm backing into my campsite, especially at night when uh, visibility is down low. Over on the utility side, again, we have another compartment with the removable mat that uh, I could take out. Of course, you're gonna have all your utility stuff. For example, something as simple as putting all the water and um, uh, hookup connections together. We have our water, we have our cable and electric. I'm not fighting or, or trying to find uh, where everything needs to be. It's all right here. So it gives me that, that ease and that speed to be able to get my coach uh, connected to my campground uh, utilities. This motorhome is equipped You'll see inside does um, have a sol solar panels on the roof and equipped with an inverter, but we have our Onan 2500 propane generator. So that way, if we don't have enough sun to supply the, the electrical demand that we're asking for 12 volt, we can power up our quiet propane generator. And when I say quiet, it's definitely, a, uh, you have to note, propane generators typically run quieter than gas generators. So if we're in that state park or at a campground where we have some quiet hours, we can maybe sneak in um, a half an hour, an hour, so that way we can power up some of our 110 demand and certainly charge up our batteries. And last but not least, our septic uh, hookup. Again, it's labeled, it's something small and simple, but we have a black tank valve uh, that's matched up with the black tank, obviously, and a gray valve handle that's matched up with the gray tank. So again, the quality here is phenomenal. The luxury is here is, is stellar, but the functionality just brings it all together. It's a pleasure way. XLTS is a good job on this one. 
sitting in the, in the cab of the 2024 Pleasureway Plateau XLTS, where quality and luxury meets motorhome, and it all is matched up with quality and luxury even on the chassis side. We have a Mercedes-Benz 3500 uh, chassis that's sitting underneath of us. It's gonna give us a lot of capacity to be able to do uh, long trips with uh, fuel, uh, fuel uh, tank full, the water tank, et cetera. But with that diesel is gonna um, give us that efficiency and power to be able to go at, uh, at all terrains. But I gotta say the quality and luxury of Mercedes, we all know that it's there, right? But when I'm driving with in this motorhome, I have so many controls in my seat that I can make myself very comfortable and definitely kick down, say like the armrest and drive this way. So I don't get that driver fatigue. So, so many people wanna overpower their motorhomes with their arms and you just only can get maybe 50 to 100 miles on those windy days. But with all the safety features and quality that Mercedes has for us with, um, with again, from anywhere from the seat to the drivability of this motorhome that they've engineered, I'm gonna be able to get into a lot of trips. Um, beyond just the power platform of this motorhome, I have a lot of safety features like lane assist and, um, um, you know, like hazard far as um, lane, like lane approaching and things like that. But visibility is one of the main topics that a lot of RVers uh, are concerned with and visibility around the coach. I have big mirrors on both sides that I can see easily down and they are powered so that way I can position them real quickly if I need on, on emergency in the highway or a city uh, situation. But then also the visibility behind me, I have a um, rear view mirror that shows uh, probably a good 10, 20 feet back behind me. But then when I shift in reverse, I have a secondary uh, camera that uh, positions right directly down behind the motorhome. To, so I now have anywhere from my bumper to say 30 feet out when I'm backing into the campsite or maybe backing into a place that I've never gone to and I don't have that confidence. So again, the quality and luxury, not only within the coach, but within the chassis meets together and is gonna be able to give me that confidence and that comfort to be able to go anywhere that I want to in this motorhome. All right, so we're coming inside the 2024 Pleasureway Plateau XLTS, and immediately what hits me is just the quality and luxury. When you've gone through a lot of RVs, you probably know what I mean. You can just instantly see it. So other than just the cleanness to it, we have a lot of things to cover, so stick with us through all the way, all through the video. Got a lot of nooks and crannies that we're gonna uncover some cool stuff. But anyway, walking right inside uh, the entrance door, immediately I'm, I'm faced with uh, a big closet door, two closet doors, right? So we'll open that up and that reveals a nice fit and finish bathroom. I mean, come on. They even backlit the back of the shower. And you guys know, if you've seen my other videos, I love to step in the showers to make sure that you have a good idea. But I have, sorry, we're not level here, but I have a lot of elbow space and definitely a lot of head height. And the fact that they use the glass door to be able to just close off and have a little bit more security for water, but also to clean, right? And yes, guys and gals, I had to do a little bit hard with my cameraman outside, but I had to do the seat test. When these doors are closed, yes, you have plenty of knee space, if you know what I mean. But anyway, in the bathroom, we have a nice uh, jealousy, I think this is what they call window. So that way, if it's raining or a light drizzle, I can still open this up and get a lot of uh, fresh air through. It keeps everything out. But everything is just that I see and touch, just the fit and finish. The, the countertops that they've, um, uh, uh, cut and, and installed at the factory. Everything is down to a measurement that they, one person has literally taken a measurement, getting that countertop cut and put in and placed and finished off. We have storage overhead. They've taken um, every little space that they can, even in this smaller bathroom to be able to give you a lot of um, uh, places to stow all your gear, your linens, your towels, your toiletries, etc. All right, moving on to the kitchen area. As I started opening these cabinets, I was like, man, this blows me away. Again, the, the, the quality that they, they have. I've been through a lot of RVs, guys and gals. They have 
on all the cabinets a double latch. What does a double latch mean? That gives me the more security, especially if I'm getting into some windy roads or some uh, crazier terrains. I have that confidence that my stuff isn't gonna come out like cans of, cans of beans and all, right? Um, and, and just the fact that why most uh, RV companies don't do double latches, that's like, it sounds silly, but it's a dollar item. Well, if they're producing 10,000 campers or 10,000 motorhomes, that adds up quickly. But they also have the nice metal um, hinges on, on all their cabinet doors. And then this uh, cool contraption here allows it to, the cabinet door to open up and stay open without me holding it. So that nice, wonderful ability to just be able to load my cabinets or pull goodies out without having it come down on my head, that, that alone has to have some value, right? I love it. And we're moving on to in the kitchen area, we have a nice uh, clean counter space. They've even taken um, the, the um, part of the counter and added it as a sink cover so that way you can get a little bit more uh, prep area or space area. But you have a big uh, swan kind of neck um, faucet here that allows you to pull it out and get into those big pots and pans and big deep stainless steel uh, sink here too to, that for easy cleanup. Beyond the sink, we have our induction stove. If you don't know what an uh, induction stove top is, gotta look it up. But essentially, little fingers, or maybe myself, I mean, we all are in a rush sometimes making a meal. We accidentally touch something and bam, that's, that's instant pain, right? You have a, um, uh, essentially a cool top. So it's really cool when you put the, the pan on, it'll, it'll heat up and warm up, but when you remove it, it's cool to touch. So again, I challenge you to read up on some of the induction. Below, again, they have, Pleasure Way has taken care of every little nook and cranny, giving you something. And below the sink, we have tons of storage with all these, with these big doors, maybe throwing a, a garbage, ba um, a garbage pail or something. All the drawers and, um, cabinets that have these latches are really nice. It's, it's very secure. You push in and it's locked and give you that, give you that confidence to, to know that it's whatever's in there is not coming out. Above all this, we have our microwave. So that way, if you need to zap something real fast, but as I'm standing back here, you guys seeing the lights, I love these lights. They're very uh, white and bright and, and you can actually dim them. So we'll get into it a little bit later, but there's a control panel both at the door and in the rear. That way we can turn everything on with one push of the button. We can turn everything off with one push or we can individually turn them on and off and dim them. Opposite of our, um, kitchen area is a refrigerator with a freezer. They've, they've really been able to take and maximize this space to give you um, everything that you can in this coach, including some cold space. Cabinet above, moving to the back. Back in here is more of like a shirt closet, so they've given us a little bit of uh, some space to do some hanging clothes. Now, if you're with me, still love this back area. There's a lot going on. We have tons of storage across the uh, full uh, back U-shape here of the coach. We have windows everywhere, so that way I can really get into a lot of nice uh, scenery and be able to sit back, relax, read a book, uh, look outside, check out what's going on with some windows that open up on, on the sides to give me some cross ventilation. As I'm sitting here for the first time, I'm realizing like, man, this, this just this just feels comfortable, feels luxury, feels quality. Um, my butt isn't sinking into like the wood uh, sub um, base that, so like the cushion, even the, um, um, yeah, the cushion is, is, is like a high density, but we do have seat belts. So that way, if you have some extra guests that are coming along with you beyond the, the driver and passenger seat, we have two seat belts back here. So maybe bring the grandkids or the kids, or again, just have some guests that uh, want to have some security back here. Closing, we were getting some sun. So I closed the blind and I was like, man, th th even something as small as this is phenomenal. Just attest to pleasure ways uh, quality that they're doing with this coach. Well, I've taken a lot of motorhomes uh, going down the road and, and somebody's closed a blind or two. And as I'm driving, I get, I get that sound, right? We all, if, if you've been RVing, you know what the sound is. They actually put magnets <laughs> on the back. Oh, we got gravity fighting us. Let's look at this one. On the sides of the shades, we have magnets to be able to hold it closed. And that way we don't have to worry about our, our shade getting beat up going down the road if we desire to keep it closed. 
All right, other than that, we have the sofa. We, it can be uh, quite a few things that you can go on with the sofa back here. If you wanna use it as like a, a dining area, they have, Pleasureway has conveniently located this uh, table legs back here without having to take up a lot of your storage area. So you're gonna loosen up all these little slides and hookups here. There is a table base here on the right side or the passenger side back in the back that we can adjust the height, tighten it up, take the table and drop in here. And the lovely thing about this is it swings. So wherever you're at, if you're over here on the side or you're back here, I have the ability to, to just, I have the versatility, I should say, to be able to put it wherever I want to. And the base here, also, there's a base up front that's pretty cool too. So let's say I have my sofa made out into a bed and watch along, we'll show you how to convert that into, into a bed. Up front, your driver and passenger seats will swivel. You can swivel them around, throw the table up front. So now you have a like kind of like a bistro dinette uh, area for two and still can leave your sofa back here into a bed position if you choose. All right, and then while we were down here kind of nosing around and looking around at all this stuff, I noticed some batteries. This coach is powered with 600 amp hours of lithium power. So you're gonna have a solar, uh, 500 watts of solar power on the roof that's gonna provide some um, charge back to those batteries. And then you have a 3000 watt inverter. If you're watching, I'm struggling here, trying to talk and do three things at once. Um, so that way when you're out traveling, you don't have to rely on running the generator. You don't have to run the darn motor to just to get a little bit of a charge. Long as you have some sun somewhere along the way and the beauty of lithium batteries, if you haven't, um, done much reading on them, you definitely have to. We have the ability to be uh, boon, um, to go off grid to boondock a lot without having to, again, power up that generator and waste some fuel. All right, so let's go ahead and set up into a bed. We are going to have to do two things. We're gonna have the extension here with these cushions. I'm gonna leave this out of the way. And then we also have the sofa itself that is power. And the power you can push at either panel. So that way, if you're back here, you can use this one, or if you're at the door, we can certainly use that one. But you do, you do need to be out of the way because as it swings out, and then the base uh, platform for the extension here is gonna go all the way to the other side, lock in, and now you're gonna take those cushions that I was fumbling with and fill in as your bed space. I'm not quite sure what Pleasure Way is calling this size of a bed because I feel like it's probably just as long as it is wide, but certainly I've got the comfort and the, the ability to, to sleep two adults and maybe even the dog up on the bed if you travel with your pet. So very cozy with the, um, with the, the high density cushions here and very flexible on how we want to set it up. You don't even have to set up this par portion of you if you want. But when I'm laying here, I have to note too, I have a nice um, uh, TV that has on a swivel that swings out so I can catch up on some maybe uh, some TV, some news. I've got a sound bar back here so I can really uh, kind of enjoy and decompress at the night. Other than that, just the, the, as we're doing this, I don't hear a lot of outside sound. So quality really gives me that thickness of the body of this coach. They've really insulated it well, finished it off with a lot of luxury push point buttons. So I gotta say, this is definitely a nice motorhome. Last but not least, once we get this set up back into the sofa, Maybe if we're seat belted in or whatever, we're driving down the road. We've got this nice luxury quality motorhome. We don't want it to get dirty, right? I just wanted to show this little teaser. This is super cool. They've taken the time to throw a little cubby hole in here with even hinges and cup holders that, are, that will slide, that'll adjust that way if you have other stuff in there, maybe your cell phone. But the fact that they're in there pretty secure, 
I'm confident in allowing the kids to be back here, having a soda, watching some TV, being entertained, and I can get a long drive in. So again, the 2024 Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS. Quality, luxury, and then some. There you have it. Quality, luxury, functionality, and then some. The 2024 Pleasure Way Plateau XLTS is phenomenal. I thank you for watching along and appreciate your patience with some of my fumbles. But this coach he needs to be on your radar. Come and take a peek at it because you got to see it in person to appreciate everything that this coach is all about. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Comment below any questions or any details that you'd like me to explain a little further. And show us some love, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you all around at the campsites. Mm -hmm.